did SafeMoon just set up a brand new partnership with a third party? Well, I don't know 100%, but looking at some of the clues that have been lining up here, I'm wondering if they did do this partnership, if it's the company that I'm thinking about. So there's a lot of stuff that we don't know, obviously, with the company moving forward. And we have to speculate a lot of things until we get official statements. I'm going to go ahead and piece together a couple of these things. And by all means, let me know in the comments if you think that this sounds like it's plausible or not. Okay, so before I do get into that, I want to say a special shout out. Thank you to my Patreon my excuse me, my Patreon supporters, a double shout out. Thank you to Rem AG and Mark Swenson for being higher tiered supporters. There's a link in the description if you would like to become a supporter as well. I am not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research and let's go and take a look at it. So John, the CEO early this morning on discord, he said, I love it when a meeting goes well. So he came in no previous statements at that point in time. His first statement was, boom, I love it when a meeting goes well. This was posted at 8.29 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So keep in mind that that would be about 9.30 Utah time. So if he's at the office, which he likely was. And if you pair that with the company that we were seeing previous meetings on, there's a lot of potential there. Now, following up with that, Ryan, the Safe Moon Hound on Twitter, he said, we always said either we roll together or we get nowhere in DeFi. Joining forces is in creative ways is key. So I think he meant to say joining forces in creative ways is key, right? So he could be suggesting about the feedback from the community, the suggestions, and he actually pays attention to that. And then he like rolls out the updates with the wallet because he's basically providing what the demand is by the community. You could make that logical claim. If you make it in conjunction with the timing of what happened with John, this was posted at 9, 11 a.m. And then John posted his at 8, 29 a.m. So they're very close within the same time frame, right? Both in the same day, both within around the same time. So if he's talking about a third party and partnerships there, what I have to kind of work off of is from the previous post by Thomas, also known as Papa. So back on September 30th, he said, meetings that close deals, let's freaking go. And it was a picture of him on a plane, which means that he would have to travel somewhere, right? And this looks like it's over a body of water, which we do know that this led to him going to Puerto Rico. Uh, Puerto Rico. In case anyone was wondering about the day, really today is great. So this company right here, SunWest, uh, they actually handle things with not only with homes and mortgages kind of a thing, but they've got an AI that they built out. And that was one of the things that they demoed there. So Thomas then posted this on October 5th. It's called Empathetic Technology. Morgan, we get you. And essentially from what I was informed, I didn't get to see the live stream, but I was informed that this was a demo where the AI helped through the approval process to get your home loan. And uh, it was, yeah, like a progressive thing. It did a background check on the individuals, all that kind of stuff. And so he said, see you live from Puerto Rico, witness empathetic technology that will shape the future of mortgage business. And that was SunWest Mortgage Company, Intelligence, right? So the whole cell towers, QCell, SunWest being there, obviously he met with the guy from Q from SunWest right there. Do you think that the partnership very well could be with that company? Or do you think it could be from something else? Or do you think that it's just a simple regular meeting? Like he says, I love it when a meeting goes well. You could be meeting with your fellow constituents talking about SafeMoon version two or this project or that project, that kind of a thing. Um, but keep in mind that if it was at 8.29 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, for Puerto Rico, that would be 11.29 a.m. their time. So it's pretty convenient of a time to discuss meeting stuff. Uh, it's not quite into the lunch hour. You don't know how long it's going to take, half an hour, an hour. Um, but he posted that at 8.29. So in theory, if they had a one-hour session, instead of it starting at 11.30 when he said this, because that wouldn't make any sense, it could have started at 10 or 10.30. Likely, it would have started at 10.00 on Puerto Rico's time. So, uh, and that would also be for 
Captain Hoddle, let's say you go back one hour, so that would be technically around eight o'clock. So a little bit inconvenient for his time, but you know, kind of matches up. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is a fun little theory. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. It does help us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon so that you get notified because I do go live sometimes and I'll see you in the next episode.